Hi, this is Jed Shields of Performance Management Innovation. Just going to go through an actual dashboard I created for a company called Employment Practice Solutions, based in Cardiff. This dashboard basically measures a number of different service providers throughout Wales and is presented to the Welsh Assembly Government. As standard, we start off with the home page. In this case, we've got a number of different options. We can go to level 1, 2, 3 and also the data input sheet. Here we are at level 1. Now this is a standard RAG status chart. RAG standing for red, amber or green. Now we've got a number of different providers that are being measured. The actual data behind this dashboard is sensitive so I've changed the provider names to generic ones. So we're looking at provider A all the way down to provider S. And they're being measured over a period of time starting with 2010 quarter one all the way up to 2011 quarter four so obviously this information gets inputted at the specific times now the top level view that we're looking at is based on an average so the average is measured against a number of different criteria and we can see the different criteria at level two so if i go to level two now here we are looking again at the providers, providers A down to S. This time however we can select a particular time period and across the top here are all the different criteria. So at the moment we're looking at 2010 quarter one and if we can have a look we can see provider A has a number of ambers and a number of reds, no greens and it's worked out an average of a red. If we go back to level one we can see that in 2010 quarter one for provider A there's that same red. So basically it's it's this is the top level view that shows the Welsh Assembly Government where the particular provider is at that point based upon a number of different criteria. If we go down a level we can see the more specific reasons for why they are a red in that particular time period. We can also see on level three a similar chart. This time however we're looking at a provider over a period of time. So we're getting the history now for one provider against all those categories. And again if we're looking, if we go back to provider A we can see that there's our red average that we were reporting on the front page for 2010 quarter one. However, in 2010 quarter two, we can see that average has gone up from a red to an amber. We can also see just by the colours that there have been significant improvements over that time period. Rather than just looking at the colour coding of the red, amber and green statuses, we can also get a little bit more information behind each of these cells. So in this case, we're looking at monitoring in 2010 quarter one. Well, the reasons why it was given an amber status can be found in this cell here. Again, we're looking at a generic statement um, for reasons that the data behind it was sensitive, so I've removed it. So we can see here just a generic statement saying reasons for monitoring being an A and an A being amber. If we click on this one here, which is KYCLR, it's the category, well, we can see the the same story here. Reasons for knowing your community, local resources being an R. So you can see that by clicking on any cell it changes the description so we can have a complete history of why it was chosen as a red for example in this case. We can also put down statements for improvements in the future or the process in which we need to change things so you've got a little bit of history particularly when we're looking over a two-year period you can come back at the end of that period and see something two years previously and get a little bit more of a story rather than just a colour where you might forget what the, the reasonings were. Again each of these categories has a different key description so the key for a red, amber or green for monitoring is completely different for a red, amber or green for HR for example so again we can see key description for monitoring red click on the HR key description for HR red so again that's defined by the user and is returned simply by clicking on the relevant cell 
we can choose any of those providers A2S so if we have a look at provider E for example we can see the data changes there to provider E and the information here also reflects that if we go back to level 2 let's have a look at a different history so we can go up to 2010 quarter 2 and there we go we got a breakdown of a particular period of time and if we go back to level 1 well, there we go. We got a fixed view of all those providers again against those particular periods of time. Now, the data behind this is inputted in a data sheet. We can click on any of these providers to go directly to their data. And here we have here we have the data input sheet. Now, you'll notice that on all the sheets, you can only click and enter data into areas that aren't protected so you can't delete any of this information you can only input where we want you to be able to input so if we wanted to put in some information against 2010 quarter 3 for example here we have the different categories so we got 15, 17 different categories and we've got the choice of a red amber or green so if I choose a green for example I like to put a little bit of a story behind that so reasons and it's in being a green. Now that is now live. If I go back to home, pick level two. If we have a look at a quarter three, there's the green that I just put in. And as we can see, there's the description reasons for monitoring being a G. So as I say, as the time periods move from 2010 quarter 1 to quarter 2 to quarter 3 the information is added and the dashboard is updated for more example videos please visit my website www.performancemi.co.uk